hi everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video i am doing a haul so i've got a nice big order here from the skinny food company um i just want to put a disclaimer out there that every time i've heard of this brand i've not been keen because i don't like the name of it i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna be completely honest i don't think food should be branded as skinny or fat or you know whatever but when i've been eating gluten free i've been finding it hard to find some snacks that are kind of like low sugar gluten free tasty and got protein in them and then a youtuber that i follow called louise's journey 2.0 or louise's journey um she is like an ambassador for them and i never used to like agree with like the stuff but i have converted i must admit um, so yeah I've got a big box of goodies here I really wish they wasn't called the skinny food co like fair enough it's their brand and they can name it what they want I've still purchased from them but I just don't think that food should be you know named as like skinny so I've got quite a lot of stuff in here um, I'm starting my calorie deficit today I've been struggling and I keep doing it not not doing it doing it not doing it but i'm trying to make a conscious effort to do it but i'm not in like a major calorie deficit i just i'm making sure i stick to a certain amount of calories a day which i know will help me slowly lose weight um because that is the goal is to lose weight but build muscle so i'm trying to up my protein as well because most people that don't lose weight it's because they they can't reach their protein goal and for me i do struggle so i'm focusing on the foods i'm eating making sure they're nutrient dense and that i'm hitting my protein target um but yes if you want to see what i got from the skinny food co then please keep on watching now i'm really into my salads at the moment and i know some salad sauces can be really high in sugars high in calories um so i thought to help me with my salads i picked up the skinny sauce zero calorie garlic mayo um this is gluten free vegan friendly and oh it's also diabetic friendly as well so yeah i've got this to put on salads um or to go on the side with like some homemade chips um because mayo can be very calorific your calories can just go out the window also if calories is something that triggers you i'll probably put a little warning up at the start of this video please don't watch this video it's not worth it because I will be talking about calories and I don't want to trigger anyone that is likely to be triggered. But yeah, so that is the first thing I got. I've also got this mocha creamer um, sauce. So it's a non-dairy flavour creamer with sweetener. It's vegan, sugar-free, low-calorie, gluten-free, diabetic-friendly. Um, and you just put this in your coffee. So it'll make it taste like a mocha without all the excess sugar um, and give it that nice sweetness. So I'm looking forward to trying this one in a coffee when I make one. I then saw these. These were quite popular on the website. They ran out of the vanilla ones. And vanilla is like my favourite flavour to have in like a latte or a nice coffee. Um, but I do like hazelnut praline. So I've got one of these which is the barista shots. Um, again gluten free, sugar free. Pop it in your handbag. So if you're getting a coffee out and about. Um, there's a coffee shop in my work if I want to get an Americano or just a latte but I don't want to pay one like 50p for a shot of syrup and two I want something less sugary but still with the flavour I can take this with me to work now and use this so yeah I've got that in the Harleen the Harleen the hazelnut praline so yeah I'm going to put that in my handbag this is what I've been excited for so this is vegan um, and it has no palm oil in it as well it is a chocolate hazelnut spread. Sometimes I just want to have chocolate hazelnut spread on toast. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this. And hopefully the flavour is there. I might do a video one day of me eating all this stuff and telling you my honest opinion, what I think of it. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see down below in the comments. So yeah, I can't wait to have this on toast. Also, I could put like a spoon of this in porridge in the morning and mix it in and then put some fresh strawberries on the top. Porridge with um, some chocolate in strawberries is one of my favorite combinations. So yeah, looking forward to trying that as well. Everything's a bit like everywhere in here. I can't believe how much I ordered 
I've actually ordered quite a lot of stuff, so bear with me with this haul. Um, another great snack. I could take this to work. These are the GAT creams, choc hazelnut cookies filled with cream, high fibre, plant based, and gluten free. I'm not sure if these are a protein product, but they will be nice and give me my chocolate fix. These are my next favourite item. Um, I all, have already purchased these before and I love them. They are the Skinny Food Co. Chocoholic Coated Peanuts. Um, so yeah, I've got four packets of those, I believe. Yeah, chocolate. So these are really nice. Good fats in there. Uh, low sugars. Um, and zero palm oil, which, again, is great. I then got... Um, just two packets because if I like it then I won't have another pack but if I don't like it I've only got one more pack if you get what I mean so I wanted to try the um, chocoholic almonds so I've got the peanut, peanut sorry, and now I want to try the choco almonds again no palm oil low sugar going to be a nice healthy snack good fats in there this next chocolate bar actually tastes like aero chocolate um, so I've got the Skinny Food Co. Chocoholic Bubble Bar. I've got three of those, I think, unless there's any more in the box that I can't see at the moment. Um, let's look at the stats on these. So these are 143 calories per bar, 2.8 grams of sugar, 2.4 grams of protein, and, oh, they're quite high in fat, actually. That shocked me but it's the sugar for me obviously i'm still gonna have ordinary chocolate but i'm just trying to make some lower sugar calorie swaps to keep in with my deficit so yeah i've got three of those now on to the more protein stuff so i've got the high protein low sugar bar uh you get 12 grams of protein per pack there are two little individual bars in here it's not just one big bar um 99 calories per bar so it's probably be 198 for the two and yeah, I think 12 grams of protein is really good. So I've got three of those. This is the chocolate brownie flavour. So I'm looking forward to having those. And then another flavour that I already have and that I like is the Toffee Crunch Protein Bar. So, oh, these have even more in. So these have got 14 grams of protein per 60 gram bar. Um, so that is the whole thing. So there's two 30 gram bars in there. So yeah, 14 grams of protein. 99 calories each bar so again 198 um but yeah in that other flavor that i've already had before and that i like some more chocolate covered peanuts and another packet of the choco hazelnut cookies filled with cream and another bubble bar as well i told you there was probably another one in there somewhere lurking about in the box this next item is my favorite from the whole brand um i've got quite a few of these I've got not one, not two, not three, not four, and not five, but six of the Choco Holic Crisp Bar. So these have got, I swear these are, yeah, these are high protein. Let's read it. So per 27 gram bar, there is 8.1 grams of protein in. Um, 140 calories and the sugars is 2.6 these are so tasty they really do like fix that chocolatey craving that you may get so I personally love these these are my absolute favorite so hence why I got lots of them and these are great to take to work if I want to snack in the afternoon if I'm still feeling a bit hungry or maybe half an hour to an hour before my workout I'll have one of these maybe um, not all the time, but sometimes I do. But yeah, I absolutely love those bars there. I then found some nice little nibbles here. Um, so these are actually gluten-free. And there's two different flavours here. So I've got the Love Corn Smoked Barbecue flavour. So yeah, obviously they're gluten-free. They're also vegan. Um, nice little savoury snack. And then I've got the Cheese and Onion flavour. These are also gluten-free and vegan as well so if i want something savory instead of sweet to snack on um i've got these let's look at the stats on these ones so per 45 gram how much is the whole bag oh the whole bag is 45 grams so this whole bag is 197 calories oh that's quite good 5.8 grams of fat 0.7 grams of sugar and 3.3 grams of protein so not the most protein in there 
um, but I'm quite impressed with the calories actually so got those to try if I like them then I will therefore repurchase them in the future when I do another order the last item from this haul and the most expensive is this protein powder so this is raw choc keto I'm not on keto I just I'll tell you why I got this in a minute um drink with natural sweeteners so you mix 45 grams which is three tablespoons with 200 to 250 millilitres of water or milk of your choice shake well for 20 seconds and enjoy um, for best results use a blender and ice so i've got this to have for breakfast or like a post-workout um protein shake so it's the raw choc brownie powder um, it's got prebiotics in it, it's 100% natural, high protein, low sugar, um, it says you get 10 servings per pack, so I'm really hoping I like this one because normally protein powders are disgusting and I just don't like them, so yeah I'm really hoping I'm going to like this one, if I do then I'll be so happy because then I would have found my protein powder and I reckon it will keep me up fuller for longer, obviously you can get protein in other sources of foods like your meats and everything, but if I can find a nice chocolatey shake which will fix the chocolate cravings and fill me up, especially after a workout when my muscles really need it, I'm going to be super chuffed. So again, I'll keep you posted on this and see what I think and see if I like it. So that is everything from my Skinny Food Co haul. I really hope you enjoyed this kind of video. If you did enjoy it, then please give it a huge thumbs up as it really supports my channel and would mean the world to me. Have you shopped with the Skinny Food Co before? If you have, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you've purchased. Have you got any recommendations? Um, if I remember, because I'm quite bad at remembering to do things, I will link Louise's channel in the description because she is like one of the most inspiring people um, that I've come across in terms of like weight loss and sustainability. Um, she's got such an amazing transformation she's stayed with it she's consistent she's funny she's i think she's where i come from i, I think she's like south london based um and i actually replied to one of her stories the other day and she replied to me so she's not just one of those like influencers that will just ignore your dms so yeah i'll link her channel below um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all again soon for a brand new video bye everyone